Hello, I'm Todd Parker. I'm still Fletcher, hello. And we're back with the long-delayed fourth installment of the Salt and Sanctuary Let's Play. Now with editing. Yeah, we'll, we'll see that in a bit. Hmm. I don't think that fella got far. Probably fell. While I'm dithering around because it'd been a long time since I played, uh, just as a preview, during this, uh, this episode I'll be experimenting with the alchemist figurine, which allows me to transmogrify my weapons into other weapons, which evidently is going to be how you get most of the equipment in this game, and also I look into the cell sword thing, which ends up being disappointing. Hmm. Well, you win some, you lose some. So we're back at uh, Bandit's Pass here. And uh, I'm just going around uh, to some of these monoliths that I had been to before. Which we are now able to use since we got the brand last time. Makes sense. Don't remember what I was doing here. Uh... Oh yeah, I wanted to check out the description of the Vertigo brand. Hmm. It's not that interesting. Also, I don't quite think they used that word right. What word? Brand? Or vertigo? It allows you power over gravitas. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Now the game is very serious. We've become very dull. Oh, it's lighthearted again. <laughs> uh, the storm ring there that I just got is... Uh... <laughs> I want to say that it's a uh, magic uh, magic equipment thing. I think it increases elemental imbalance, and then as a trade-off gives increased magic power. I don't use it here. Mm hmm I do experiment with not using the Link of Fire and Sky for a little while, but uh, it ends You're up fond being of it. more advantageous to keep it. Still very satisfying. The wrapped link is still useful. I don't think many of them are not useful. And we, uh, we may recall that down down this area here i yeah there we go uh down Broke here everything. <clears throat> there was another obelisk in the dark hey that's right i'm not really sure why i was jumping around like that Eh, just a thought <laughs> i figured i figured they wouldn't let me go there yeah it looks like they've very carefully protected the ability to fly into the sky here is some heavy armor that, again, we won't be using this playthrough. Mm. The Dural Guard were, wore heavy armor, but were masters of speed and agility, able to blah 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 blah. That seems very unlikely. Well, since equipment weight doesn't seem to affect your movement that much in this game, it's believable. Alright, I suppose that's true. I'm just thinking real life. Hmm. Karshjaw the Cruel. I think that was the only one with different description to it. Pretty much was. That's just an interesting name. Yeah. And uh, this is a shortcut back into the... Um, Sodden Banquet or whatever this place was called. Yeah. Not Sodden, the. I don't know. Yeah. Crappy. Uh, 
I don't think that guy's a very good shot. No, I, uh, I was looking to see if there was any way I could get up there with what I have right now, but, um, I don't think there is. There will be possibly by the end of the episode, though, because mm -hmm. I get another brand at the end. They're kind of piling them on now. Well, yeah, the first one's just gatekeeping, but... That didn't go that well. No. As I recall, there is one more at the top of uh, of this area, which is why I'm heading this way. Gotcha. There might be another one that I missed somewhere. I, I don't really remember, but I figure if there is, I'll probably see it again at some point. It's not where we fought the Sodden Knight, though. Yeah, if we get lost, don't worry. I have some small maps we can use. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Your legs can only take so much of that. You've got to stop that. You are going to be like a half a foot shorter by the end of this episode. Now this one seems like the riskiest pillar to use to fly into the sky. Mm, yeah, I, I think they still block off the edges so you can't actually fall off. Still. Well, that worked. Yep. Nothing like range. Uh, I think I need to reverse my gravity to get down there. Yeah. Well, there you go. <laughs> That's pretty cool, I have to admit. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I like that. <laughs> Actually abusing physics in a mechanic like that is a pretty good touch. I'm sure this guy should be more frightening, and yet... Hmm. I did not die to him. Yeah. I also didn't see just now what he... Oh yeah, Sparkling Ring increases healing power. That may come in handy later on, because the, uh... Um... The, uh... Blessed water or whatever it is doesn't actually um, heal Scale. as much as the other ones. That's always a nice drop. I have to give this game credit. There's definitely uh, some excellence in allowing you to mix and match four rings. So what would normally be things you'd never take suddenly become, well, maybe I want to, oh my god, why did you do that? I kind of thought that there was an edge that I could grab somewhere there. Yeah, that didn't. Um, that didn't turn out to be true. Anyway, so cut to back where I, uh, was getting my salt back. Yikes. Can you shoot lightning through that? Uh, yeah, I can, I can shoot through there, but I didn't. I just realized what you were doing, yeah. I just wanted to draw aggro so I could bring him over. Yeah. There you go. And with that, we'll uh, we'll move on to the new areas. I, I was think. about to say. So what? Uh, what do we do next? Because I do not remember where all the. <laughs> there was the uh, there was a keep or a castle or something like that that we couldn't get to before because the bridge was broken. That's right. So we'll be heading down that way in just a minute, and I think uh, it's just this way. Mm -hmm. I don't think I need to travel to get there. Just to go through that big old mess of enemies that's killed me so many times in the past. There you go.
I like the tiny figurine count on the fast travel screen. Yeah, it, it's kind of handy, I guess, to keep track of what you're going to be able to do at various sanctuaries. Kind of handy nothing. That's actually great UI. Kind of in a hurry here. I really wanted to get through, and uh, it, it, it didn't work. No. Uh, so no rushing for me through this area that takes a long time to get through if you're not rushing. Thanks, Salt and Sanctuary. This is what you get for being a mage. Are you, what, going to turbo teabag him? What was that? Oh, I, I thought there might have been gold up there or something, I think. Oh, okay. I, yeah. Anyway, it's all right here, so. Haste makes waste. So yeah, we were briefly in the last time, but this is actually exploring, is it not? Yeah, that's right. We'll be clearing this area out, more or less. Mm-hmm. Um, starting with this guy, uh, who I hey. got... <laughs> yeah, the guy that I got a little intimidated by last time. <laughs> That's... You know, I gotta admit, some of these sprites being made of so many parts makes for an interesting effect in motion. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's, it's that classic Flash animation style. Oh, I'm not saying it's, you know, A number one amazing, it's still got some jank to it, but... The sheer amount of pieces does make for a good look on guys like this. Ooh. Yeah, those skulls kind of came down and wrecked my shit. I didn't know what they were or that they were there this time. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> they did a terrible thing. Take two. We're seeing the limitations of not using the Link of Fire and Sky here a little bit. Honestly, mostly just because I I only have wildfire for a fire attack right now. And yeah, well, that's that. <laughs> so much for take two. Take three. This time I decided to check out what was over here. I don't that it is, um, and Shockstone is another weapon, uh, weapon elemental effect. It, it gives your weapon lightning. Hmm, neat. Which I considered using on the night until I realized that my lightning bolts weren't really doing special, especially high damage to it, so... <laughs> it could Whatever. probably be saved, yeah. This game has an interesting soundtrack. Yeah, when it's when it's not like butt rock in the boss battles, it's actually okay. Yeah. Eh. I'm I'm very comfortable with butt rock being involved in boss fights because I'm a Sonic CD fan. <laughs> Yeah, that didn't work out either. I thought I'd get away from the skulls, and there's the sword guy. <laughs> That's a very nasty uh, arena. It really is, yeah. It, it got me quite a few times before I finally managed to take care of it. Because I thought the skulls just showed up because you went too high, but then it's like, nope, you went too far right this time. Yep. Um, off screen, I equipped the Link to Fire and Sky again so I could just spam this guy. Because mm. I got kind of tired of dying. Makes sense. Ha! Yeah, that looks satisfying. When all else fails, spam lightning. You know, I've used worse strategies in games like this. That axe throwing enemy has a headache, it looks like. Ember skulls, ashes. And a Birian fire pot, and now we'll be taking care of this guy. Oh, Birian fire pot, okay. 
I thought it said his name was Brian Firepot. I don't think that's how a whip works. Oh, you've changed to short range sword. Oh, yeah, I, 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 I'm gonna parry the hell out of this guy. Got it. I'd had enough of, you know, his shit. Makes sense. Well, as someone who played Wolfenstein after the sale, yeah, let me tell you, I know how good that feels sometimes. Yeah, so I, I pretty much aced him once I knew he was there. Yeah. His timing is really simple, and we just get another stone blacksmith. Yeah, you can never have too many stone blacksmiths. No, no. I like that guy's logic. Somebody <laughs> is throwing lightning at me. I'm getting the hell out of here. <laughs> Only to be oh. killed by more Ooh. lightning. <laughs> that poor bastard. This is fun. So there's the button that uh, started that trap. Hmm. <laughs> nice. And it knocks his ass right over. And then he's dead. That looks satisfying, I'm not gonna lie. He doesn't leave a rare drop, though. I guess they figured that you were gonna do that and didn't want to be too nice. And here's a new smell for us. Hey. It's disappointing. Oh. As you can see, it's another class one. I guess getting the lightning bolt was a bit of a sequence break. That would explain its... Huh. It is kind of cool. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, lightning machine gun is pretty sick. But I... I I just don't see how it's going to be more useful than the lightning bolt, because the lightning bolt pierces. So, eh. Mm, true. In just a second, I'm going to switch back to it. It'd have certainly been a nice change from the fireball thing if I had never gotten the lightning bolt, but, uh... True. Fortunately, I saw those messages marking the secret passage way back. Hmm. Ouch. So he lands on it again. They hid it under a pot or something, it looked like. And I you... saw it when, it when you walked up. Oh, you did? Well, yeah. I didn't see it when I walked up, so... And here's a new enemy type over hey. here. <laughs> These guys are called court sorcerers, I think. I was going to say, that is definitely not magician. David yeah. Blaine cannot do that crap. He doesn't give me too much trouble this time. One of them will be giving me a little bit of trouble later on. Uh, that's a shortcut to come, obviously. Yeah, they, they pepper these guys throughout this area. Oof. Gotta love home and get those. The court sorcerer's ear is used in several um, slightly higher level weapon modification alchemy thingies. Hmm. So it's nice to get a few of them. Silverleaf is another weapon modification uh, material. Mm -hmm. And I just got three soldiers poem, which is the level two weapon upgrade material. I'll, nice. I'll talk more about the weapon modification and upgrade stuff later on. And we've got a locked door here that I don't think I get the key to, and fuck that battle. <laughs> no. Yeah. Yeah, you may want to skip that one for a night. And I don't have any healing either, so, uh, yeah. Let's hope there's a shrine nearby. There's, uh, there he is, although I don't find it just yet. What I do find is a shortcut and our, um, our Siegmeier analog friend guy who you can just barely see is sitting on the ledge up top of me. Hmm. The mending ba uh, band causes HP regeneration, but it's real slow. 
so probably not something we're going to use while making people watch us play. Yeah, I mean, you can see it right there. It's like a tenth of a hit point every half second or so. You know, that's not as bad as I was expecting. I thought this was going to be one of those, if you stand completely still, regeneration starts. Oh, yeah, no. No, that actually would be really good. Hmm. It's not a stunning view. Hmm. It's, it's dark. Yeah. I don't wonder where these buildings came from. Sorry. I'm not going to lie, so far, while I do think a couple of touches are good, I'm not very interested in this game's lore. So, do you, uh, did you expect that shortcut to go here? You know, I had wondered about that platform, but no, I don't think I consciously guessed that. I don't know, ever since I saw a design breakdown of the Kirby games, I always look at scans of those floating platforms. Mm. Yeah, naturally, I cleared that area out on the way uh, the way in. That was off screen, though. Yeah. Sometimes you get irritated. I get it. This uh... well, now that I'm looking at the length, I don't think I actually did cut out that much video. <laughs> Maybe like ten. 10 or 15 minutes worth of traversal that wasn't interesting. Still, that's what editing is. Trying to decide what to level up here. I think I ended up taking level 2 Magus um, for uh, tier 2 wands. Mm -hmm. I mean, because it would increase my magic too, which is always handy. Oh, well, yeah. Don't ask. I, I don't know why I talked to him. Yeah. Anyway, uh, skipping that section that we've seen a hundred times, we'll go back to the shortcut. It's alright. I have to admit, this is kind of a cool transition. I, I like that shortcut. While the background is not amazing to look at, there's definitely some good detail here. It's not that necessary, because there's an, uh, an unoccupied sanctuary right here. There you go. Which I didn't notice the first time through, but, um, yeah, it's a cool shortcut. Yeah! Jazz hands! All right. We'll be setting up a stone blacksmith, a stone alchemist. I think this is where I set up my second guide because I figured it was a good place to be able to warp to, and a stone sellsword. Yeah. Which I've been kind of like holding off on because I didn't really want to get into the whole multiplayer thing just yet. And as it turns out, I still don't get into the whole multiplayer thing for reasons we will shortly see. Yeah, it's a little weird from what I've found. The Egg of Wrath is an item that allows PvP. Hmm. So you basically summon help and then you use an Egg of Wrath and it, it switches it basically to uh, friendly fire mode so you can kill your um your companion i'm not going to lie there's something kind of hilarious about that because what must the other person think yeah and uh as far as i can tell multiplayer isn't online in this game there should be i can't figure out how to initiate it because that looked like local multiplayer to me 
Let me double check, but I swear I was reading about this. Yeah, uh, yeah go ahead, because I, uh, I, I couldn't figure it out. Uh, meanwhile, I'll be, I think, upgrading my flail, or my whip into a martial flail. Um, as you can see, looking at it, the cost beyond uh, materials and salt for upgrading a weapon into another weapon is uh, is that it turns in or it lowers your um, it lowers your upgrade path by one. So I can upgrade a bullwhip three into a martial flail two. Also, you are correct. It is only local. Yeah, which is kind of disappointing. I will. Uh, at some point in the future, I'll try and get some local friend around to to do that. Ah, no worries. Because I I'd like to see you know what the what what the multiplayer is like. Um, looking at this list of restrictions, it's not amazing. Mm -hmm. Should I read off a couple or no? No, go for it. I'm not really doing anything interesting on screen, so. Uh, how does this affect my gameplay? FDH, enemy HP is scaled up a hefty bit and they will hit harder. Prayers of healing aid cooperative players within a radius. If a cooperator has a key to open a door, they can break the door early for the host. Oh. Gold dropped by all enemies and bosses is not shared. Whoever picks it up gets the gold. <laughs> Item drops what? from enemies grant a copy to each player. Okay, well that's good at least. Uh, found items or treasure grant salt to the sellsword if already found by the sellsword in their world. Sellswords can't pick up keys or progression items. Makes sense. Or top level crafting items. Or found black pearls. Uh... Cell swords cannot enter the endgame area. Oh. Huh. Yes. And any brands the cell sword has in their world will be nullified to match the host and vice versa. Uh Okay. Wait, and vice versa? Yeah. What well, I... <laughs> the cell sword gets the host's brands. Oh, okay, alright. For a second I thought the cell sword would lose whatever brand or the Host would lose whatever brands the cell sword doesn't have. No, no, no. Yeah, that would have been bullshit. <laughs> that would have um, been hilarious, actually. Yeah, as you can see, those little things he fires do a ton of damage. Yeah. I mean, they took me down to nothing, pretty much. Okay, I would, I would maybe not do that. But I got him. This time. Yeah, I wonder if there will be other times. And, um, yeah. So there's a one-way passage. And a mysterious stranger sitting up top. Well, you know, we haven't had nearly enough mysterious strangers. I, uh, you may or may not have noticed that that, um, night guy talked about a thief being in this area. I did see that. Yeah, well... Just saying. That our thief gotcha. We won't be talking with her for a little while, though. Well, that's an interesting one to be. Here be Kraken. Hmm. I.e. boss ahead. Oh, okay. That's not quite where I was going with that, so... Oh yeah, there's our grasping ring. Nice. I don't know if it stacks or not if I equip two. Uh, I haven't... I didn't bother to check. I don't quite feel that's worth me looking it up, so we'll just experiment later. Sure. If it does, that's a good argument for taking the grasping ring as your effects. Yeah, true. There's another silver leaf. We're going to be swole as hell later. <laughs> and there's our candles. Yep. 
At some point I need to go back and see what order those candles are lit in. So this dude is two candles. Yep. And it's a Dargan. Yep. Ooh. Yeah, that, that hurts. A lot. Yeah, don't don't dash through that. <laughs> oh. I'd like to say I did okay, you know, on my first try. This is not the worst. I'll say that much. Those hitboxes look like a pain. Ooh. That got me, though. Ooh, yeah. I think that's the first time where turning into ash and or salt has definitely appeared appropriate. <laughs> uh, right. Well... Maybe this is where I decided to transmute. Hmm. Or maybe not. Oh, no, it is. I just had to get some salt for my items first. Gotcha. That's right. Accidentally threw one of those poison knives. It's all right. They're made of stone. They'll be fine. Fine, but not mine anymore. Yeah, well. I really, really wanted that steel centipede because it's a sword whip and that seems really badass, but it requires an amber idol. Uh, which, you may recall, was also one of the potential effects that we could have taken at the start. I'll keep that in mind if I ever play the game again. Yeah, there's some interesting, uh, interesting things you can go for at the opening of this. Yep, I, I really, I really wanted that steel centipede because sword whips are, like, my favorite thing. Well, you'll get a chance. Yeah, eventually. It was not to be this time, though. That's right, though. A better whip is a better whip. And it goes clink-clank when I swing it. <laughs> you didn't whistle that that well, but I recognized it anyway. Yeah, well. <laughs> it's workable, and that's all it needs to be sometimes. Pretend I'm the Genesis whistle. It's appropriate, too, because these guys are basically the bone-throwing skeletons. Although I do admit, the, the thing where they cover their face and just fling it randomly is a cute animation. Yeah. I, I admit, this area, actually, I kind of have some affection for it. This is definitely starting to look a lot better. Yeah. Not that the opening areas were bad, but they definitely didn't have this much charm. Yeah. You say that now, but wait for just a second. Oh. <laughs> well. That was actually a good dodge. I think I decided not to try the Kraken worm a second time right away and instead explore what was down below here. Hey, yes. I missed this before, so good eye. Yeah. Okay, so I know where that's going to take us. Yeah, it's pretty obvious, honestly. I, I don't know why I didn't just get on that one. Yeah. Might have just been cautious. Oh, interesting. Yeah, we were here earlier. Oh, no, I mean just that there's an area in the middle. Uh-huh. But, uh, not there. Oh, crap. We have to hop off at the top of this, don't we? Yeah. It's all right. It, it, it doesn't take that long. Yeah. There we go. Nice. A Phoenix Rondosh, which is a shield that we'll not be using, probably. Hmm. 
It's kind of neat because it has a hundred percent fire block. Holy shit. But uh, we won't be using it. Yeah, it seems like it might be really handy for this fight. <laughs> yeah, like a little piece of kindness. <laughs> hey, guy, did you die here one time? Well... It's hard to see because this area is really dark, but this is another one of those katana enemies. Hmm. I made short work of him. Although he did a fair bit of damage in the meantime. Well, yeah, you don't want to get hit with Hanzo Steel. Try not now. <laughs> I know what I need now to get hmm. up there. I, I'm not going to get it this episode, but uh, but I'll get what I need to get it this episode. Nice. Ray, Ray of, of Searing. Yes, uh, that is not for us, unfortunately. Damn. I don't know, yeah, you look pretty seared. Yeah, those guys are bastards. Like, really, really bastards. Yeah. And uh, this is where my luck ran out. Ooh. Yeah, this seems like a brutal string. You ain't seen nothing yet. Oh, God! <laughs> At least we opened up some shortcuts. Oh, damn. That was two-thirds <laughs> of a life bar. <laughs> Corn Sorcerer is not fucking around anymore. Okay, that one you could have done. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not defending that one. <laughs> you stood there and he did the death wave. I finally got him. <laughs> <laughs> I'd had about enough by that point, though, so I decided to just go ahead and fight the damn boss. <laughs> Alright, fuck it. We've died this much. <laughs> Might as well. Nothing to go back for, really. Hmm. I'm gonna make a death counter graphic for the next uh, the next video. Fair enough. <laughs> I don't know if there'll be as comical a time to use it as that, but uh, we'll see. There's always the one that catches you off guard. Damn it! I can do this. I decided to give arcane weapon a shot for uh, for here. Mm hmm. Look freaking. I kind of keep forgetting that I have Arcane Weapon, honestly. And, uh, it's a little underwhelming against this boss. Yeah, a dude with this much verticality seems like he might not work on that. And there goes my health. I can't believe they allowed you to dodge through that tail whip. Well, with my frames. I guess. It was good intuition on the timing. Hmm. That wasn't so good, though. Nope. And now he's superpowered. Yep. For at least a quarter of his health. Try number two. It didn't start out that well. <laughs> Here's the thing that gets me. On the Tower Knights, the janky animation looks really good because it makes it look like it's all these parts moving slowly in conjunction. On this guy, it just looks cheap. Yeah, it's um, it's really low, low frame animation here. Yeah, that fire is just wrecking me. So, uh... So the next time I remembered something from earlier, uh, specifically that I have armor that is really, really, really good against fire. The blacksmith's apron. Hey, that's right. You may recall it has like a hundred defense. Uh, it doesn't come with a helmet, so I keep the raptor thing on, but um, oh, other yeah. than that, uh, the blacksmith stuff 
um, you'll see the difference right away. Yeah. Let's see here. It cuts the damage by about 40%. You know, that's not bad. Or maybe it reduces it to 40%. I don't know. Either way. Incidentally, I already learned how to dodge that, but yeah, you can see now what would have taken over half my hulk when we took a third this time. Yeah, that seems like a good trade. Nice, was that just well timed or did you actually zap him out of the sky with that attack? Uh, I don't think that zapped him out of the sky. I think that was, uh, I, I think he just has an attack that makes it look like he's going off. Yeah, he has like a jump attack thing. Gotcha. This is going smoother, so what's going to happen when he gets to half health and uh, gains new attacks? Um, I don't think he does gain new attacks. I'm just going to die because I screw up. Oh, okay. But that'll be the last time. Gotcha. As you can see, the movement of the screen gives a hint as to which side he's going to come from. Ah, oh, damn. Yeah, I, I just barely was in range of that attack. I thought I was out of the way. And, uh, yeah. I, I've said it before, but this guy's hitboxes are weird. Probably because so many parts of motion. Yep. This is the end of him, though. Hmm. So I was, uh, I was an early player of Final Fantasy for the NES, and uh, I borrowed the cartridge from my friends, and they had, a, uh, they had a guidebook and a map and everything that came with the game. Mm -hmm. And for the first boss battle of the game, Garland, it said pretty much um, that the strategy for the battle was very simple. Fighters should fight, and mages should use magic. To be fair, that is pretty much the Garland strategy in a nutshell. Yep. And it pretty much applies to this game, too. <laughs> and if you took uh, if you took a black belt or a thief, well, you've chosen four to go back. Yep. Fighters should fight, and mages should use magic. I keep expecting you're going to finish that sentence, mages should mage. I'm whipping a little bit here, but, uh... Well, yeah, if you got a chance, take it. Woo! Not taking chances with the fire that time. Nope. Down to my last healing potion, though. But, I mean, you've already said this is the one where you win, so... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no suspense. Spoiler alert. Hey, that was a good way to uh, dodge that fire. You like that? <laughs> I actually do. That was really good. <laughs> I saw you use a similar trick on a wall earlier, and that was clever. <laughs> yeah, I'm proud of that one. That may be not the brightest, though. Yeah, but the blacksmith armor saved me. Well, thank God. Oh, I thought I was down to my last healer. Well, I guess I wasn't. Oh. Wow, I'm a lot better at this than I thought when I don't look at what I'm doing. And there he goes. Shin. get a lot of gold and a lot of soul. And a thing. Object. No, monsters did not fall, and yes, flame shield is not required. Although, like, 
since you can't see the bottles there until you beat the boss, you can kind of see how that's not that useful. Yeah. <laughs> I used a dagger against the worm. Like, not much, but... I don't know. It's not my fault you're not a mage. <laughs> Shadow Flip Brand. Hmm. No, the, the treasure will be mine, because you're pretty much just going to sit there, I'm pretty sure. Uh, yeah. I, I didn't bother exploring anymore um, for this video. Okay. Nice. Allows a wall jump. That is the best. Eh, it, it's not the best wall jump. Honestly. Oh. You can kind of cling to the wall for a little while, which is neat. But it's a pretty restrictive thing. It's obviously just a gatekeeping tool. Yeah, well... I don't know how much I'm going to be using it. Yeah, skip the traversal back to the, um, <laughs> back to the, uh, sanctuary. No worries. And I will be, uh, upgrading. I don't think I can upgrade my wand because that requires an amber idol. So I'll be upgrading from a midshipman's jerk to a cut purse shiv. Look at this. You meet one thief and then you just fall in with all the wrong crowds. In for a penny, in for a pound. Imagine there can't be more than two thieves on this island. We will be taking our file sleeve, because that's going to be handy coming up. Mm-hmm. And some magic, and then I have two more points. And I don't remember offhand. I think I might have gotten the light armor level two. Or not. Class 2 Assassin. Okay. <clears throat> level 2 Daggers, even though, once again, I've not seen the level 2 Dagger yet. Maybe you're gonna forge one. That seems likely at this point. I didn't have a blacksmith here, so... We'll be heading to a place where I do have a blacksmith. Makes sense. I, I think. Oh no, I wanted to test out my new Dagger to see if it was, uh... A big improvement. Tell you what, the whip kind of took care of them pretty good. Yeah, that looks like it's made this much easier to deal with. Yep. No. You appear to be dangerously blue. <laughs> So yeah, we've uh, we've definitely gotten more powerful. Yeah. Hmm. I I was pretty much just showing off my increase in power there. And eh, no reason not to. It's good to just occasionally go, hey, this is how sick we are. We'll be upgrading our dagger. Plus two. The uh, the level that we had gotten the midshipman's dirk to was six point something. Hmm. I've got plenty of soldiers' poems, so I think I think I was just salt that I was lacking actually. Well, that's doable. You just touch the thing and you can go kill guys again. Yeah, I didn't feel like it this time, though. This video ended early. Yeah, I, um, well, I mean, it was a little bit longer to start with, like I said. Hmm. But, next time will be quicker. <laughs>